Good day. In this video, we are going to practice and practice internal on numbers. So we shall do this because it's the one question you need to be able to answer them in one hour. So the question is: Ari and Jamie are saving to buy a house. The house will cost them two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. To get a mortgage from the bank, they need to save a 15% deposit as well as paying the real estate agent fee. The real estate fee is 2% of the house price plus GST on top of the amount. The GST is 15%. Next, RE is paid $1,003 per fortnight and $200 will go directly into the savings. He also has a Kiwi Saver account. This means that RE saves both $200 he put directly as well as any Kiwi Saver contribution. 4% of his pay is deducted for KiwiSaver and goes into a separate savings account. Ari's work put money into KiwiSaver, so does the government. The ratio is 4 is to 3 is to 2. Ari work in government. When Ari takes his money out of KiwiSaver to pay the house deposit, the scheme will give him $1,000 for every year he has been the scheme. He has been the scheme for 3 years and has already saved $3,000, not including the bonus. Jamie, on the other hand, is paid $1,300 per fortnight, but she does not have a KiwiSaver account. Instead, she saved two seven of her pay directly. Her grandpa in Australia gave her a gift of Australian dollar 4000 when she paid for the deposit, and the exchange rate is one New Zealand dollar into Australian dollar 0.7955. Use this information and find out how many weeks will it take Ari and Jamie to save for the house deposit and the real estate agent fee. Okay, we're going to break them down into two parts. One part, and then Ari and Jamie, and we're going to calculate using the master sheet. Okay, so let's start. Okay, the first part is... The first part is Ari and Jamie is going to buy a house together. The house is going to cost them $250,000. To get a mortgage, they need a 15% deposit as well as paying the real estate fee. The real estate fee is 2% and plus GST on top of that amount. Okay, so what we do, the deposit is 15%. So the house is $250,000. So it's going to be $250,000 multiply by... 15% because that's the deposit. They need to have that. So when you multiply them, it's going to be 37,500. Okay? Great. Now you need to, the agent fee. The agent fee is 2% of the house price. The agent fee is 2%. So it's going to be 0, 250,000. That's the house price. Times 2% is times 0 0.02. And you cal calculate them, it's going to be $5,000. Okay, so you need to show working in every step. Okay, on top of that, you must add GST on it. So GST is 15%. So you need to add 15% to the 5,000. So it's going to be 1.15 multiplied by 5,000. This to include GST. Okay, and the amount is come up to 5,750 dollars. So the Deposit is $37,500 and the agent fee is $5,750. So, total amount is going to be $37,500 plus $5,750. And you add them up, it's going to be $43,250. Okay, now we're going to transfer them to the, the uh, master calculation so total amount is going to be 43000 you're going to add here total amount needed to 43250 okay great now we are going to calculate Jamie and Ari okay so we shall carry on now the second part of the question okay Ari is paid to 1300 per fortnight and 200 per fortnight goes into his savings. Okay, so 200 goes to the savings directly. He also has a Kiwi Saver account, and uh, he pays 4% of his salary to the Kiwi Saver. So 4%, 4% of 1,003. So you could put 0 0.04 times 1,003. If you calculate, it's going to be $52. Okay, he contributes $50 to the Kiwi Saver. On top of that, his work, RE and government will also, so the ratio, 
RE, work and government will contribute in a ratio of 4 to 3 to 2. And we know that he contributed $52, okay? So what is the amount for the work and government? So four parts equals to 52. Four parts equal to $52. One part is going to be 13. So the work will contribute three parts, so it will be $39. And the government will contribute two parts, it will be 26. So total, you add 52 plus 39 plus 26. The total will be 117 per fortnight. Okay, so that is the amount. Here, contribute. Awi will contribute 200 directly and 117 per fortnight. So, total, he will contribute 317 per fortnight. Total, so I'm going to put here total. 317 per fortnight. Okay? Okay, on top of that, the government, he will give him a bonus of 1,000 for each year. So, he's been part for three years. So, he get a bonus of $3,000 as well as he already had 3000 beforehand. He had 3000 beforehand. So, now we're going to put that data into the sheet there. Okay? So, now... Existing savings, okay? So, fortnightly savings, are we going to get, previously we saw that it's going to be 317 per fortnight. Existing savings is 3,000 and the bonus saving is also 3,000, okay? Okay, now we go to Jamie, okay? Jamie is now paid 1003 per fortnight. She does not have a Kiwi Saver account. She saved 27 of her pay directly. So Jamie saved 27 multiplied by 1300. If you calculate, it's going to be $371.43 per fortnight. Okay? On top of that, her grandpa. It's going to give her 4,000 Australian dollar. So Australian dollar is bigger than New Zealand dollar. So 4,000 Australian dollar. When convert to New Zealand dollar, you take 4,000 divide by 0 0.7955 and that comes up to $5,028.28. Okay, we are going to put that into the master copy. So now we're going to put them, okay? Give um, grandpa is going to be 5,028 dollars and 28 cents. And then uh, the other thing is that uh, the fortnightly savings is going to be, fortnightly savings from Jamie is going to be 371 point for three. Okay. So total fortnightly saving when you add these two numbers together, okay, total they are going to come up to six hundred and eighty-eight dollars and forty-three cents. When you add Ari fortnightly saving and Jamie fortnightly saving, you add these two numbers, it's six eight eight four three and the amount left initially you had to pay Forty-three thousand two fifty left to pay for the house, and minus three thousand, minus three thousand, minus five thousand. The gift from their grandpa, and the total amount left is going to be thirty-two thousand two hundred and twenty-one point seven two. So now to calculate the number of weeks, what you need to do, you just take this number, thirty-two thousand, okay, thirty-two thousand. 221.72 divided by 688.43 and that will come up to 48.21 fortnight. If you want to do it in terms of weeks, you multiply by 2 and the answer is 
for one week or you round them up to 97 weeks. That is how you solve this number internal and hopefully you learn something from this and hopefully you get excellent for this internal. Cheers everyone!